Hey guys, Mr. Jennings here. Um, sorry, a little blurry, gets you into focus a little bit. There we go. All right, uh, chapter 26 is what we're looking at, learning how to use money. Um, an important thing for us all to learn at every stage of life. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about it now with the uh, coronavirus stuff and people losing jobs and a lot of concern over money and the stimulus package and all these things going on. Uh, you know, who knows what the future holds with all of that, but um, can be scary times. Uh, maybe not necessarily for you guys. You don't probably think about it too much, but uh, for a lot of adults, maybe your parents as well. But um, but an important chapter for all of us to look at and I think to reflect on uh, as we go through it. Uh, before we get into the chapter of 20, uh, chapter 26, learning how to use money, I'll give you a, a couple jokes. Um, uh, what did the uh, student eat, or why did the student eat his homework? Uh, because the teacher told him it was a piece of cake. Uh, what kind of tree fits in your hand? A palm tree. Um, sorry, Norman's getting a drink. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but... Uh, being a classroom disruption once again but uh, a couple more jokes um, let's see here um, let's see not a lot of good ones here when potatoes have babies what are they called tater tots oh this can be true right now with this quarantine and staying at home my wife accused me of being immature so I told her to get out of my fort um let's see I'm not clumsy. It's just the floor hates me, the tables and chairs are bullies, and the wall gets in the way. I don't know if any of you are clumsy, but you can probably relate to that. Again, I'm not clumsy. It's just the floor hates me, the tables and chairs are bullies, and the wall gets in the way. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, Sorry for the delay. Uh, Most common lies ever told. Uh, I didn't do it. I'm fine. And I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. That's true. Um, all right, so looking at Lesson 26, learning how to use money, there were a couple key points that hopefully you got as you look through the uh, chapter. First of all, God entrusts us with money, um, and he expects us to spend it wisely and use it wisely. Uh, so again, God entrusts us with money, and he expects us to spend it wisely. Uh, and then the next uh, uh, point there that hopefully you got from the chapter, what we do with our money uh, tells us uh, something about our values. All right. Um, so what we do with our money tells us something about our values, what we value. Um, so hopefully you learned, uh, as we look through this chapter, several things um, in this lesson. Uh, preparing for the future, uh, principles for handling money, uh, problems with greed and covetousness, uh, the, and then looking at the parable of the talents and using uh, what you've been given wisely. So again, preparing for the future, principles for handling money, problems with greed and covetousness, um, and the parable of the talents, which helped us with using uh, what you've been given wisely. Um, and I looked through your, you did this project on the $1,000, um, how you would spend it if I gave you $1,000. And and most of you seem to be grasping the concepts pretty well of what this chapter talks about and the way you um, use that money, the way you... Um, handled it. No, nobody thought I got a thousand dollars. I'm gonna go blow it this weekend on things, and and that's good enough to 
think of it that way, but but then we need to make sure we're putting into the practice. Again, this was just an illustration or a you know a hypothetical situation, but you know hopefully the things that we wrote in those projects are actually what we would try to do with the money if we were given that kind of money. Um, but again, the the projects that I've gotten already, and if you haven't turned it in, please make sure you do that. But um, they have been done well, uh, so thank you for that. Um, but then, uh, really, the only thing I want to really touch on the chapter additionally, just to kind of sum it up, would be the the teacher's lesson. Um, there were a couple key point parts in there. Two things that we looked at: developing a thankful attitude, and then uh, money is a gift from God. So looking at those things and developing a thankful attitude. Uh, and, and I've talked about that before. When I talked about my testimony with you guys as a class, the idea of being grateful for the day that you've been given and being thankful. Uh, and the same way with the day that you've been given, uh, the things that you've been given and the money that God has given to us, um, being thankful. Uh, really, if we have a thankful heart and it's genuinely a grateful, thankful heart, we it can overcome a lot of the things that we would struggle with the envy the greed the jealousy and the covetousness um but in addition to that the other things that can cause us to have a negative attitude the things we deal with if we just can focus on the things that we have to be thankful for and we all have so much if we take the time to think about it um that we can really overcome a lot of things in our lives uh, if we are just thankful um, the thankfulness, as the chapter, uh, as the lesson talks about, thankfulness lifts us up, greed and covetousness uh, pull us down and keep us discontent and unhappy. You know, there's so much in this society today of comparing to others, and that's where the envy and the greed and the jealousy and the covetousness comes in, whether it be on the social media or just seeing people with uh, things that we wish we had. Uh, it's so easy to not be thankful and to have these other negative um, character traits be in our lives um, but but hopefully we're striving to be thankful and seeing that God has given us quite a bit um, and then that thankfulness in turn can help us to overcome these wrong attitudes uh, for us um, yeah, as the Bible says it looks at in the lesson there 1 Thessalonians 5.18 uh, God's will is for us to give thanks uh, in everything everything all right whether it be something we're struggling with something that goes wrong or goes right whatever be thankful um, and that can be hard it can be really hard for us as humans to do that but God wants us to be thankful in everything if we're thankful in everything then we can't be envious in a situation we can't be uh, greedy and or jealous um, or covetous in a situation because in every situation we're being thankful um, you know, I might not have what they have, but Lord, I have this, and, and, and you've given it to me. So being thankful for that is important. Um, but then the, the second part of uh, the teacher's lesson is that money is a gift from God. Uh, you know, we are given blessings. Um, we are given friendships, as it talks about in the, uh, uh, the teacher's lesson, and we're given security in having those things. But... Uh, with that privilege uh, comes responsibility that God has given us this money, these things to do, or things we can do with it, and it's making sure we're being responsible with that money. As again, as we talked about with the project, that's what you were working through with the project of making sure that you're being responsible with what God has given to you. Um, so first of all, as the lesson talks about, to be diligent. Um, you know, we in the previous chapters we talked about hard work and faithfulness. Um, looking at the concept of sowing and reaping if we sow hard work and faithfulness then we can reap money for things that most importantly things that we need but some things that we desire as well and things that we want you know hopefully they're not things that would draw us away from the Lord but the ability to enjoy some things in this life and I think God does want us to do that um, in moderation uh, but making sure we have for our needs and we are able to help others and um, to tie and do those things before we move into the desires or trips or um, things or whatever that might be. Um, and to take care of the things that you own. There's this next part there uh, in the teacher's lesson, take good care of things. Um, be a good steward. We're commanded to do that in God's word, to be a good steward um, and to use uh, things the way we should. Uh, I know something as a dad that I've I've struggled with a little bit 
uh, when I was little and I always as long as I can remember I was this way and my mom and parents and dad also have said that I was kind of the same way then but any toys that I had were like precious to me and I took care of them and I didn't do um, things that would uh, destroy them. My son is a little bit different. He likes to crash and bash his cars and uh, the Legos are just in pieces even though we've built them and put them together for him to play with. Um, and I think of that too in our, in our own lives as far as you know our relationship with God. He's given us these things. He's given us all these nice things and we just abuse it and we don't thank him for it and we don't um, use it wisely and uh, I had to learn as a dad to just say hey it, it's his toy um, he can do with it what he wants it's not what I would do with it and it hurts my heart to see something that I've put effort into giving him for him to just destroy it um, you know that's kind of a silly illustration but you know I don't want to be flipping about what I'm talking about here with God as far as he gives us things we shouldn't just abuse it like that like a small child would with a toy uh, he he loves us, he cares for us, and he has given us these things, so we should use them uh, in a responsible way to honor him. Um, and then there's some just some basic points there that it tells us to to remember. Uh, things do not last forever. Uh, everything has a use for our good, and God promises to provide all our needs. So despite all these other things that we think of with money and um, things that we want or things that um, we can spend it on, always remember those things. Remember what's important. Um, you know, the things that you treasure, that is where your heart is going to be. So if you're if you're valuing, you know, having money and having all these possessions over everything else, that's what your heart is going to be in. Your heart isn't going to be for others. Your heart is going to be for what can I do to improve my own standard of living and making my life better, my life better by spending money on myself. You know, if your heart is for others, um, you're going to want to give and you're going to want to be giving and, and, and you're going to be thankful because you're thinking of others, not thinking of yourself and viewing yourself in comparison to others. You're going to be thankful. Uh, so just the important thing there is to remember uh, what's important. And as we look at um, using your money wisely, you know, what are you treasuring with this life that you've been given? And, and, and that's where your heart's going to be. So make sure our heart's in the right place. Then we're going to do the right things with the the worldly treasures that God allows us to have. All right, so let's pray. Dear Lord, again, we thank you for this day. Thank you for each of the students in this class. Lord, as we look at money, Lord, there's so many things. This is a small chapter on the subject, but there are so many things, Lord, that we can look at in that area. Lord, help us to uh, be wise in that area. Help me to do that as a, as a, a father and a husband and a, 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 someone who uh, has to deal with a lot of financial things. Uh, just help me to be wise in that area, but help the students as well as they don't necessarily have to deal with that quite as much at this point in their life, but help them to uh, be wise with that now, to develop the right habits of uh, making sure their values are in the right places and their heart is in the right place as well when they are given something that they use it uh, for your honor and your glory, not just money or whatever it might be, but uh, just to, to whatever they've been given to use it responsibly uh, in a way that honors you. Lord, again, be with us until we can uh, meet again. Uh, and we'll thank you for all that you do for us. In your name we pray. Amen.